thousand feet, uh, and due to turbulence, we're going to keep the seat belt fastened uh, for your safety and well-being in those sitting next to you. There's uh, quite a bit of uh, thunderstorm activity on the right-hand side of the airplane. Mother Nature has given us quite a light show. And, uh, those of you who have uh, flying for the first time, you okay, uh, sir? this is one of my very first flights Fire. at night. We're at 35,000. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? Two more little bottles of vodka and another bag. I don't want to get anything on my jacket. Sir, this is really weird, but all of the tiny bottles of vodka have been taken. And the barf bags have been taken. And my skirt has been taken. Yummy, I put it on top of my granola. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Puppy Emporium. My name is Sue. How can I help you? <laughs> I'm Brian Miller's. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Here she is, your new dog. So this is a shit to zoo. It's pronounced sheet zoo. What do I owe you? Um, well. $2,749.12. Shih Tzu. That's right. Third one's free. You like that? Shih Tzu. Not this time. I believe this one's free. I just don't like labels. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you're my boo, right? And listen, everybody knows that butt sex ain't real sex, baby. Money, I told you I'm not ready to make love to you until I know what we are. Yeah, I drank that. Ugh, you like kale? 
Mm, Kale, yeah. Mm. I've been hurt before. I, I know you've been hurt before. You told me that. That's why I'm only gonna put half in. Come you on. You still haven't changed your relationship status on your Facebook profile. When you do that, you can have me. Mm. You must be the ex. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Moneymaker. Moneymaker? Hell yeah. You can call me Big Chocolate. I'm Brian Millers. I'm the ex-husband and Kim's father. Why are you wearing that dog? It's an early birthday present for Kim. Y you know I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go get that dog for you. Thank you, Money. Don't touch the dog. Come here. <laughs> Give me him all okay, man. Do the bigger stuff than this. Son up from the street, son. You know what I'm saying? Say no thing. Know what I'm saying? No. You really need to slow down. <laughs> the teeth are so sharp. I thought we were on a short break. We're divorced, Brian. Are we? Are we really? Yes, Brian. What happened to second chances? You've had six. What happened to seventh chances? Brian, you are just so intense. Am I? Am I intense? Okay. You might be a little intense. Money is gentle, and he has a big heart. Is that the only thing about him that's big? Brian! Where's Kim? She's not here. You're lying. I saw a pair of boys' shoes by the doorway, and based on the green and yellow paint on the rubber, I say he plays basketball for Morning View State. Go Badgers. The number 23 etched into the heel leads him to believe they belong to Jamie Dempsey, pretty good athlete. The kind of young man who might think he can take advantage of my daughter. You see, Brian, this is the problem. You keep using your CIA skills at home and it's driving us nuts. This isn't some secret mission. It's real life. You're not in the agency anymore. You're a rent-a-cop. I'm a security guard. Exactly. I have skills that can protect my family. I'll be damned if I won't use them. Brian! I'm okay. Oh my god, Daddy! Get out! No! I got to a puppy. You're at the age where celebrating your birthday isn't fun anymore. You're also at the age where your manhood goes on vacation permanently, but it doesn't have to. We've taken the two most powerful erection pills on the market and combined them together to make Vialis. Early Vialis testing on men shows results for a larger, healthier erection. Patients using Vialis have reported tighter pants, unwanted children, awkward moments, sexual harassment lawsuits, sudden decrease in bank account, and loss of vision. Ask your doctor if you're right for phase one testing today. Jump start your manhood with Vialis. Got a special cell for kids like you. Yeah, we do. And it ain't pretty. Shut up. Get these two out of my face. Come on. Are you a CIA agent who fears he's losing his skills? Girls gone stupid. We got girls going stupid like you never imagined, but always knew you wanted. Pretty girls, pretty ugly girls, drunk girls, slutty girls, sleepy girls, girls with tattoos, girls with confidence, girls who think they're smart, but we know better, because girls have gone stupid. And if you order now, we'll throw in our double trouble double pack of hot and horny ex-housewives. But not for free. Why? Because that'd be stupid. stupid. These women got married too young, got divorced, and now they want to get stupid. Just like your ex-wife, Brian. What? Or Jeff, or Steve. It doesn't matter what your name is. We caught your ex-wife and daughter on tape. Beautiful, mysterious, magical, so 
so beautiful. Oh, so mysterious. So pretty. So, so beautiful. Oh, so very... Are you tired of that lame leather jacket? It's not lame. Oh, it's lame. Somebody needs some glasses. Night number 42 on the job. Working security, night shift. Retirement from the agency is tougher than I thought. I want so badly to exercise my particular set of skills. startle you. Normally I'd have snapped your neck, shot your knees out, and had your cars towed. Luckily for you, I'm in a contemplative mood tonight. Explosives. What's going on? Fuck you, mall cup. I demand to know what's going on or I'll be forced to issue you a parking warning. Oh no, a warning. Be so scared of you. <laughs> we are cleverly mocking you because yeah. we find you lame. I am not lame. Yes, you are, with the lame accent. Where are you from, anyways? Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Really? You sound Irish. Am I crazy, or is that an Irish accent? Definitely an Irish accent. It's the way people from Philadelphia talk. I know, because I'm from Philadelphia. All right, this is your last chance. Put your weapons down. Turn yourselves in and no one gets hurt. But if you don't, I will hurt you. Viva Albania! Viva. Is this Bobby Emporium? What gave it away? I'll show myself in. Hey, you can't go in there. Who are you? My name is Brian Millers. I work security at the shopping center. Last night at 1.56 a.m., a bunch of your men brought explosives into the loading dock at Puppy Emporium. Be careful. That coffee is very hot. Good. That's the way I like it. Now listen to me very carefully. I will shut your entire operation down unless I can speak with your boss immediately. I am boss. Are you okay, Ryan? Certainly. I love all things odd. So do we. Not many people can handle the heat from a spooky chili. An elephant in the Albanian National Zoo ate once a spooky two hours later. Dead. Sounds delicious. Enjoy. Perhaps you'd like to tell me what your men were doing last night with the explosives. And why they tried to gun me down. We have permits for these explosives. There is nothing illegal going on. This company's owner has heart of gold. He is founding member of many animal rights organizations. These explosives you speak of, they are nothing more than fireworks for Puppy Emporium one year anniversary festivities. Fireworks, really? I'm sorry. You are just doing your job. Do you guys validate? Yes. You have a wonderful clear complexion. Thanks. We try 
trouble for us. Take care of him. Next! Brian Miller's. Brian Miller's. What, what, are you, what are you looking for? I'm here to pick up an order of Vialis. Vialis? You're saying Vialis? You know what? So, sorry, I'm kind of new here, so hang on a second. Hey, Phil! I got a guy here looking for a prescription of Vialis. You say Vialis? Yes. What, 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 what is that? It's a pill white men take when they experience erectile dysfunction. You're saying that this guy, Brian Millers, this dude with the super outdated jacket, he's got trouble with maintaining a boner. How, how are your balls? Pee pee won't come to full a salute. Is that true? That must be. The Vialis prescription for Brian Mills is up front. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Lenore? Ryan, wh uh, what are you doing here? Just looking around, thinking about buying a new alarm clock. Huh, I thought I heard someone calling your name. It wasn't me. Uh, what are you doing here? Just, um, uh, getting some aspirin. Lenore, there's something that I've wanted to say to you. Uh, you really didn't know how. Oh, then maybe now is not the right time, Brian. I love you. Brian, please. And I don't think this moneymaker is right for you. Well, that's none of your business. Oh, it is my business. After everything we've been through, what about us? Brian, you know I love you. You're the best man I know, but you're too intense. Now that everything is back to normal, you've become a jerk. And yes, you're great in a crisis, and I know how much you love us, but in life, the little things count too. It's not my fault that everything I've loved has been taken. I only did what had to be done. Lenore, prescription for birth control medication is ready for pickup. Lenore. Different Lenore. That's Lenore Miller's. She ain't coming, Lenore! I'm, she's right there. Green eyes, sexy, tight, tight body. Yes, you, birth control medication, ready for pickup, front counter. Birth control? Yes, birth control. Are they for you? Brian. Are they for Kim? Now is not the time or place. I demand to know. Oh, snap. He dog. <laughs> what it do, baby boy? It's Brian. Right, right. You know what? Perfect timing, Brian. Why is that? Because, uh, hold this, baby. Hold that. Oh, glasses on. Oh, um. Nah, that's this. We gotta go with this one right here. Oh my God. I know we've only been going out for about, you know, what, two and a half weeks, but I think you're the one baby girl. You know what I'm saying? I touch myself when I'm thinking about you, you know what I'm saying? I've never done that before, and uh, what I'm saying is, would you make Big Chocolate the happiest man in the world to marry me? No. Oh. Yes. Yeah? What? Yes, you do! Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Big chocolate, prescription for Veltrex, available for pickup at the front counter. That's chocolate, comma, big. Oh, me too, honey. Now I can walk again. Oh. Grandpa, are you okay? Oh. Mother. Where the hell have you been? I could have died in here. No one would know. Yes, Mom. How's work? It's a nightmare. I miss the agency. Well, have you thought about doing another tour of the Middle East? Mom. I'm out. Oh, that's too bad. I'm thinking about doing another tour of myself. You retired, what, 40 years ago? Well, you don't think I have what it takes, do you? <laughs> who's my bitch? Come on, let go, that really hurts. Say it, who's my bitch? I'm your... Say it louder. I'm your bitch. I'm your bitch what? Uh, I'm your bitch, Mom. That's right. How are things with Lenore? Not good, Mom. 
She's marrying another man. She's getting married. Have you run a background check on this guy? Yes. He checks out. His name is Moneymaker. Oh, big chocolate. What? Porn star. They used to call him Big Anaconda because of his enormous shaft. Oh, my. He's gonna add another lane to her highway. I feel sick. All right. This is what you do. You apprehend both of them. You take them to a detention center. You torture and humiliate him so bad in front of her, they'll never see each other again. You break this money maker's will. I'm not gonna do that, Mom. Lenore's been through enough. But take this guy to a farm. You stuff a corn cob up his ass. You heat it to 459 degrees until the corners pop. Then go all pop secret up his arse. Yeah, I can't do that to Lenore. She's in a strange emotional place now. Fine. But if you need a place to waterboard, just let me know. Thanks, Mom. By Alice testing. <laughs> Twenty five minutes, zero zilch. Cardio, increasing blood flow. Nothing. Fifty minutes, still nothing. Is the most romantic of all lions. Look how he's brought her absolutely nothing but his thrusting magic sword. And that's great because this lion really knows how to get in there and show her who's the boss. I mean, look at the way he's working his hips, and she's just so relaxed. He's Ladies and gentlemen, we have left off. <laughs> Where firefighters are battling a massive blaze. We gotta go! Wait. Now! No! We're still waiting for details on how exactly this fire started. Let's get this interview. Come on. Okay, back up, back up. No, no, no. I'm a hero! I'm a hero! Hey, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me how the fire started? Did you see anything? Our plan failed. We will get him next time. I promise. I won't let you down. Kim, I got you your favorite vanilla. Lenore, sorry they didn't have chocolate. So why'd you guys want to meet? Good news? Dad, there's a party this weekend. All my friends are going. And I really want to go, too. Your daughter wants to go out Friday night with her friends. Are the parents going to be there? No, Dad, it's a college party. Then absolutely not. Why? I know how boys like that think. This party is going to be so freaking rad, man. Yeah. These college girls are, like, so gorgeous, you yeah. know? Let's get some virgins. We'll go in there, we will find them, and we will fuck them. Okay, you're like not coming out of this anymore. Yeah, he's not even kidding. Get the fuck out of here. Brian, what are you freaking out about, Dad? 
Your daughter is reaching out to you. Are you gonna finish that or just wear it around your mouth like a cheap whore? Brian! What? Everybody was thinking it. You're destroying my life! I took one bite. I thought you might be making a change. You can't live in fear forever, Brian. You already lost me. Don't lose your daughter, too. Let Kim go to the park. Decided you can go to the party. Really? On one condition. Anything. They accompany you. No, Dad. Fine. On one condition. What? You let me put this wire in you so I can monitor your safety from a surveillance van outside the party. No way. All right. One condition. What? You wear this chastity belt. Dad, no. It's a good chastity belt. I made it in a Bosnian torture camp to keep from being sodomized. Do you know what sodomy is? Dad! Kim, I am trying to compromise here. How about this? You can drive me to the party. Fine. And we'll have dinner for your birthday next week as a family. Yes! Thank you, Daddy! <laughs> Thank you, Brian. This is a college party, Kim. It looks too calm to be a party. Uh, are you being honest with me? Yes, Daddy. Thank you. Kim, sweetheart, do you have the mace? Yes, Daddy. Do you have the stun gun? You call me at midnight. Dad! <laughs> Come on, baby. What's taking you so long? I'm just slipping into something a little more comfortable. I'll slip into it now. This shit need time to unfurl. Vegan, tofu life, kale, yeah, 14 carrots. You think I'm just talking shit? You ever seen what they do to chickens? No. Shit is inhumane. Okay. They, they feed chicken feces to tilapia. We can't even eat tilapia because of the chicken feces that they're feeding folks. Take that off, baby. That's not sexy. All right. Baby, go change the chicken suit, okay? I'm trying to get my... Okay, what was that? He's came home already? You want to go check that out? Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right here and take the chicken suit off. Put, put, put on some shit that a brother would eat. Come dressed as some fucking uh, uh, tempeh roll. You know what I'm saying? Some fucking a samosa. I'll eat a potato. I don't give a shit. Some curry. Brian, what the hell are you doing? There's something not right about that party, Lenore. Kim is hiding something. You're just paranoid. There's nothing to worry about. It's completely innocent. Innocent? They pass those out at school. <laughs> it's nothing. Lube. Yes, to moisturize your hands. That's mine. It's bigger than my forearm, Lenore. The birth control war for Kim. Brian, please don't overreact. It's just a bunch of innocent kids trying to have a good time. Brian, you're going to make yourself look stupid. Lenore, you're dressed like a chicken. What the fuck? What? George Washington smoked weed, and so did Napoleon. No, uh, what? Yeah, there's scientific proof, bro. Can someone please put on some Kenny G? Kenny G's great. You know, I heard he donated a lock of his hair to a woman in Africa for a Kickstarter. Wow. Dude, you kidding? Oh my god, what is up? Yeah, buddy, good luck up there. 
Oh, yeah. Good hey, hey, hey. 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 Don't look back. I like your balls. Thanks. Jamie? Yes. I want you to make love to me tonight. Tonight. It's it's not that I don't want to. It's just your father. He scares me. Uh, uh, don't worry about him. It's just the two of us tonight. Uh. Hello? Jim, listen to me very carefully. Your virginity is about to be taken. Dave! Can I talk to your father? Hello? Why aren't you wearing a condom? I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you want. If you think you can impregnate my daughter and live off this family, you are mistaken. Because I don't have money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills that I have acquired over a long career. Skills that make me a nightmare to punks like you. Now, you can let my daughter go, and that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. I hate you, Daddy! Oh my god. <laughs> wow, your nose looks so good. I know, right? The doctor said I just can't touch it for another two weeks. <gasps> Blood. My daughter Kim. Where is she? What grade are you? Come on, dude. Chill. Dude, mm. chill. Are you smoking marijuana? It's exactly that behavior that's like keeping this country in like a perpetual state of stupidity. Yeah. Oh! I am looking for my daughter, Kim. Where is she? I don't know, dude. Where is she? Upstairs. Sorry. We need to go right now. This is very bad. Unsafe to be here. No, no shush. I honestly have a bad feeling. I've had a bad feeling. Kim. Sir, wait. I think it's best if you don't come around us for a while. At least not until Kim's birthday. I understand. I'm sorry, Kim. Oh, take that, you pussy. I'm going to slaughter you, saggy tits. What? Mother. Oh, not now, Brian. I need your help, Mom. I'm busy. I have to get Lenore back. Uh, we talked about how to handle that. I'm not gonna kill him. Uh, don't be such a wuss. Bitch, kiss my arse. What? I've got an idea. Meet me here at all 500. You little son of a bitch. This is Molly's house. I'll go in and plant the bugs. You stay on the Norm money. Let me know when they're headed back. Good luck. Radio check. 
Radio check. Good check. really pays, but, you know, that's just work. Just suck on my dick a little bit. What? Nothing. No. But babe, we're getting married. Come on. I know. I know. I just. I need some more time. Please understand. Okay. It's all good. Let me call you Ubi. Get you up out of here. <clears throat> Yo, Jay. Moneymaker. Got another one. Yep. Hello? Hey, what's up? No, nah, she just left. No, I'm serious, nothing. Not even a hand job. We'll see. I'm gonna give her like two weeks tops. If she gonna put out by then, she got to go. Uh-huh. No, I know. I know. I thought the ring would loosen that hoe up for sure, but nothing. Hmm? I'm gonna get married. <laughs> Come on now. You know how I do. I got a girl in each state. Don't hate. All right, well, I I'll let you know what's going on. As soon as I hit it, I'm gonna call you. Matter of fact, when I'm hitting it, I'm gonna FaceTime you, like last time. Yeah, okay. All right, love you, Dad. I knew he was a player. I am really happy to have the whole family together for Kim's birthday. Jamie, it's nice to have you at the table. I can tell you, though, as bad as a spinal injury seems at first, you can heal. Yo, Kim, happy birthday, girl. <laughs> Hey, boo. Oh, Money, I'm so glad you could join us. Um, Brian, I told Money he could come. Hope you don't mind. Not at all. Kim, I got you a birthday gift. Uh -huh. Aww. It's a book about a beautiful young girl like you. Yeah, you know, Kim, I, I also had a little free time, so uh, <clears throat> I wrote a book about you. Happy born day, girl. Oh. Happy born day. Oh, my God, money. How about some cake, huh? I had them put your name on it. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a little awkward because I also had a, a cake made for you. Just... <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. Happy born day, girl. Happy born day. Kim, I forgot the most important part. I got you a card. Thank you, Daddy. You know, Kim, I, I didn't have enough free time to get you a card, but, you know, I got a real close friend of mine to sing your birthday song. Akon, it's Kim's birthday. Is that really Akon? I want to eat your birthday cake. Eat all that shit. And get your icing all over my face. <laughs> Time's up, man. We got a bar mitzvah eight o'clock. Bands. Juices. I'm a juice. Oh. Got your juice, huh? All right, now here's the wheatgrass here. And there's the beat right here. And remember, wheat before beat. 
Greens before the sweets. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You still got to hook up on them colonics? Yeah, I got to hook up. Man, we could do a session together. Well, no, not together. We in different. You not blacking at me, Akon? I have to pee. Mom, Dad, I have to help Jamie to the bathroom. What? Brian, go right ahead. No, you said. Boy, it's a full body case because of you. <laughs> She's gonna help him go to the bathroom. She's gonna touch him. No, he's got a full cast. The poor kid has a catheter. Perhaps you would feel more comfortable if I had him. Oh, God damn. Hey, pretty and pink. Uh huh. I see you got a lot of vanilla over there. You, you, you like chocolate? You know, they got T bone and steak on their menu. I can show you some real T bone and steak back at your place. Me, you, green Lamborghini, kale smoothie, your place. Examine that ass. What you got to say to that? Do you think you can handle this? Oh. Okay, oh yeah. Can I take your plate? No, I'm not finished yet. We're taking your plates. Oh, I finished. Now, fast. Yes. Come on, move, move, move. Please be careful. Let's go, let's go! Mom! Now! Ah. <laughs> going on foot. Go down the alley to the end of the street, make a right. Then go eight meters, make a left. You'll see a pastry shop. I like their French crullers. You'll cross Grand Street, go down one block, cut through Bueller Street, make a right on McIvory Road. There you'll be directly across the street from the restaurant Jamie and Kim are eating at. Take him home immediately and wait for further instructions. You guys got that? Are you talking to me? Damn it, Lenore, I don't have time. Oh. All right, girls. What are you gonna do? What I do best. Mr. Brian Millers, you know that I am the boss. But sometimes in this life, even the boss has a boss. Who are you and what do you want? Most people know me as Brown Finger. Mr. Brown Finger? No, this brown finger. Please, let my family go. 
Oh, don't worry about them. They'll be fine. Can I get you anything? Oh, cheese or cracker, tab. You have tab? Oh, I stocked up. Oh, that's a very nice offer. I'm fine. Lenore? Mom, do you guys want anything? I'll have a tab. Oh, a tab would be brilliant. Two tabs, please. Can I have a tab? No! Tabs are for guests! Let's get to it. I brought you here to tell you my evil plan so that maybe later you can try to stop me from killing you and your family and thousands of innocent people. Right. But first, I have to give you my backstory. Yes, of course. When I was a little boy, I had no money. My dad left me and my mom with nothing. I had no friends, no one to play with. And the worst part about it is I think that my mom really wanted a girl. How did I know this, you ask? I didn't ask. She used to work for a very wealthy family who live in Beverly Hills, and they had a little girl who was about my age, and she was a real spoiled B-I-T-C-H. My mother would come home and talk about that little girl like she was her own, you know what I mean? Is that thug coming today? One day, I was playing in the alleyway behind our apartment, and I was all alone. And then I found a little dog, also alone. He needed a home. He became my family. That dog was just like me. We became so close because we needed each other. We were best friends. That dog was everything to me. And then one day, he was taken from me. You mean taken? No, I mean taken. That's not proper English. Be quiet! This is my story. What I'm trying to say is my mother took away my best friend and gave it to a spoiled little brat. And you're not over it yet. Mom! Oh, watch. This guy is a wanker. Look who's not getting a tab. So I decided to take my revenge. And I saved every penny that I earned, and I opened Puppy Emporium. And we are the largest seller of little dog in the valley. That makes me happy. You know why it makes me happy? Why? Because I personally stuffed explosive into the butthole of every little dog I have ever sold. Yeah. It's a birthmark. You're the reason my dog exploded. Yeah. You are a sick person. No, I'm just trying to work out my feelings. I have a lot of resentment, and the only thing that will make it better is if I take the best friend of a spoiled little boy or girl. It's for me. Wait, you lost a pet, so your way to cope is to shove explosives in dogs' butts and kill them? Somebody's been listening. That's not the right way to deal with it. You are not the boss of me. Let's say goodbye to our little friend. No, no. No, no. Oh, that. I guess today is your lucky day. Nothing you're doing makes any sense. You're just a weird person with a poo-stained looking birthmark on your finger. You don't have any reason for taking me or my family. I think you should let us go. But if you don't let us go, we will escape. We will find you. And we will kill you. <laughs> you are nothing but a Lawrence security guard. You are in way over your head. I have skills. Mm, not according to your LinkedIn profile. I mean, what is intermediate Spanish anyway? It means I can find the bathroom or a police station or a taco truck. You know, I just got really hungry just now. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. But I want you to think about all the things that I said. Dalmat, take the girls to another room. Because when I get back, I'm gonna have my way with Brian. Someone's gonna get corn cobbed. Mom. So, uh, 
uh, that was, uh, that was, that was, I, it was, it was the first time ever. So, yeah, this is a bus. Whatever, little dick. Little? Nah, your shit was big, though. It was bigger than mine. came back to the restaurant, and you guys had left, so... Ah! Okay. You are 5.8 miles east-west of... Puppy Emporium. I'm under the mall in some sort of basement. I need you to bring me the right bag. Call me when you get here. Okay. Come on, Jamie. We gotta go. Kim. 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 Well, ladies, make yourselves at home. Wait. I've been around long enough to know what you men want. Ella, what are you doing? It's okay. Don't mind her. What shall you say? We have an orgy. What? That is disgusting. Oh. Don't act like you don't want it. Your friends can join in, too. What is wrong with you? I'll take out my dentures. Shut her up. Put gag on them. Uh -oh. ah. Yes? Who is it? Doris. Doris who? Doris locked. Would you mind opening? threw a grenade out the window and it blew up my goddamn thumb. I'm sorry. Ah, there it is. Don't worry about it. I got it. Got my thumb. Hey, Mommy, I need you to help me. My whole family's been taken. I have to take this bag to my father as soon as possible. Can you drive me? Can I touch your butt? Yes. <laughs>
Yo, girl, I think we should go to the hospital. I'm starting to feel dizzy. It can wait. We're talking about people's lives here. Come on. Come on. OK, we have to find my dad. You go this way, I'll go that way. Go this way, I'll go that way. But you go whatever way you want, I'm going this way. Daddy? Come. Daddy! Did you bring my bag? Yes! Oh, thank God. I shit my pants. You just keep a bag of underwear lying around? Yes, it's essential in my line of work. I'll probably shit my pants multiple times before this battle's over. Do you have any idea how many men I'm up against? Dad, there's some things you should keep to yourself. Bravery is not measured by one's inability to fear, but by one's ability to overcome fear and do what has to be done. How'd you get here so fast? Money brought me. Moneymaker's here? Yes, Daddy. We split up to look for you, but he's around here somewhere. That's fine. I'll deal with him later. I need you to help me with something right now. Lenore? The fuck? The fuck, Dolly? What the? I lost my thumb. I lost it for you, girl. Oh shit, you're so fine. Oh, oh, oh. Look at you. If we could just... Now is not no, the time. No, no. Okay, my no. bad. Okay, all right. Is that not okay? Eddie, okay. Mm. Hey, hey. Mm. Are you okay? Get me the hell out of here, you stupid right. Okay, she's good. Can we get the fuck out of here? We can't. We're tied down. All right, let me go see if I can find something to free you, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, no. Hey, but, but when I do come back, you... Give me that ass, right? Okay. Kill ya. Wait, you want me to do what? It's the only way to save these dogs, Kim. I'll do it. All right. Relax. Hell yeah. First try, baby. Uh. Put your hands up. Hey, come on, man. Listen to me very carefully. Go out, get in Moneymaker's car, lock the doors, call the police, and tell them to get here as soon as possible. Okay. Money. What happened to the rest of your hand? It's gone, girl. It's gone. But I got that motherfucker. Let me get you out of here, girl. Oh. Here. Give me, give me a yeah. Money, uh. this is never going to work. You need to find something better. Think. Fine! What you want me to do? Find something else. I'm gonna go get something else. Go fast. I'm doing this shit for some white cherry pie piece of ass. Bitch ain't even putting out. <sighs> Goddamn internet. <sighs> Fucking catfish and fake ass bitches. <sighs> I lost my thumb. <laughs> I lost my head. I should have gone out with a sister. I'm sorry, black women. I'm sorry. <sighs> OK, I just ran your shit up. Find something better. You find something better. I'm going to find something better. What the fuck is over here? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait. 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 Eat, eat, eat,
Hello. This is my sandwich time. I told you not to call me. I'm sorry, boss. I'll make you another sandwich. I don't want another sandwich. I make them in a very specific way. I want this sandwich. It was perfect. It was a really good sandwich. I know! What was crunchy thing you using? What crunchy thing? Lenore, you're missing your forearm. Yes, yes, I am. Is he always that quick? Where's Kim? I told her to wait in Money's car. Uh, oh, my car? She went for help. Uh. Hey guys! Kim, where were you? I went to get coffee. Oh, great. I have a red eye right now. Grandma got you chai tea with almond milk? Thank you, darling. Daddy, decaf coffee. Mom, double espresso. Money, caramel frappuccino with extra whip. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> oh no. Stand back, people. I've got this. It's for the best. It wasn't good for you, Lenora. Brian! You need to listen to this. A1. By Alice testing. Not that. We have a lift off. I'm sorry. Take it in the thighs? Yeah, yep, did that. No, she ain't let me hit the titties. Huh? I'm gonna get married. You know I do. I got a girl in each state. Don't hate. I'm sorry I had to hear that. No. It is for the best. Mom! Mm. Ooh. Ooh. You sexy as hell. You know that? Oh, yeah. you like that ass? Hell yeah, I like that ass. Oh. Like a, a hammock full of grapefruits. Oh. <laughs> Come here, girl. Mm. <laughs> That's what he said to me. Uh, he said the same thing to me. You bitches are just jealous. Come on, my big chocolate. Come on, sex mom. Oh. <laughs> it's time to go home and take care of that enormous shaft. I did not see that coming. Or that. Excuse me! I thought you were dead. I am not. But 
You sabotage my evil plan, and you kill my little Albanian buddy. It's time for you to pay. Bring them inside. Kim, Lenora, I need you to listen to me very carefully. We are fucked. I don't have a gun. Uh, I'm old, I can't see. This is the end. You two are gonna be sold on the open market, but not before you're raped and tortured. And I am gonna lose my life to this complete nut job. We are so fucked. All right. I... I love you. I love you too. This way feels real awkward and good. Is that weird? Do not take it. Huh. Brian, are you okay? Captain speaking. We'll be I had the strangest dream. <laughs> Mother. Oh, hey, sweetheart. What up, B? What up? Dear God, was that a dream? Brian? I just need to use the bathroom. Excuse me.
Paint your profile picture with the brand new high res selfie. But I need your help right now because I can barely breathe. I think we're headed for a cashless society. So let me in. I can't reach you, but you're standing right in front of me. Is this the end? I can't reach you because you live on planet me. You're so obsessed with the social media. Shooting. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. He doesn't look that bad. He can only feel his nose. I really thought you had changed, Brian. I think it's best if you don't come around us for a little while. What are we doing? Sorry, just sorry. do it again. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh. Take that, you little pussy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He can only feel his nose. What's going on, man? A freestyle. I really thought you had changed. <laughs> 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 I really thought you had changed, Brian.
but a a a, a what a, a, a low rent security security guard. You 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 are way out of your league. <laughs> I like your balls. Thanks. <laughs> What's going on, man? A freestyle official, dude. Yes, yes, yeah. One that you want to listen to. What's going on, man? A freestyle official, dude. Yes, yes, yeah. What's with this bag? That's right, guys. Oh! Tell me some shit more than twice. Hey, We're all gonna die! <laughs> oh! 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 Come! Daddy! Did you bring my underwear? Yes! No, my underwear! John? Where's John? 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 Oh.